Hi there. The last 12 months haven't been easy, have they? For some, it's been extremely difficult. There's been loss, pain, financial difficulties, isolation, homeschooling, and lots and lots of different things that's been going on these last 12 months. And right at the beginning of the first lockdown last year, this, this situation caused me to think about roots. Who or what is your life rooted in? Who or what is my life rooted in? It's been tough not being able to meet as a national congregation. Although Zooming has been good, it's just not the same as when we get to all meet up together, is it? Some of the usual connections and interactions that I would have had, I couldn't and I found that difficult. I was all set to go on a cruise with my sisters. Chance of a lifetime really, but that got cancelled. And other places that I would have wanted to go, I couldn't go because they were shut. People I wanted to go and see, I couldn't go and see them because I wasn't allowed. And on a lighter note, you know when it's bad, when you think, yay, I'm going to the supermarket, I'm going to walk down the chocolate aisle. Yay, I'm getting out, I'm getting out. <laughs> you hear me? That's when, you know, it is bad. But seriously, though, like the song says, when all is stripped away, when what we hang on to isn't there anymore, what we look forward to doesn't happen. When life is really hard, what is left? Are we rooted in Yeshua? The gale force winds of COVID-19 are still blowing around us. Are our roots in Yeshua strong or are they becoming loose? Is our faith strong or is it wavering? Are we running closer to Yeshua or are we drifting away from him? How are your spiritual roots? Now, I'm not a gardener and I wouldn't even pretend that I am. But I know very two, two very basic things about roots. The first is a root is an anchor. They anchor the tree or the plant in the soil where it's growing. So the taller the plant or the tree, the deeper the roots need to be. And secondly, roots are like drawers. They take up water and minerals, which are needed by throughout the, the plant to enable it to grow and to protect it against disease. So, Roots are an anchor and they're like straws. And I'd like to ask you a question today. Are your spiritual roots anchored in Yeshua? And what spiritual water and minerals are you living on? It's worth considering, isn't it? I want to encourage you. Colossians 2 verse 6 and 7 says, this is the New Living Translation, and now, just as you accepted Messiah Yeshua as your Lord, you must continue to follow him. Let your roots grow down into him and let your lives be built on him. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth you were taught and you will overflow with thankfulness. Let's take a look at this first couple of verses. Just as you accepted Yeshua as Lord, you accepted him. Think about it for a moment. Yeshua, who was in the heavens, divine, holy, in all his glory, in all, all his splendor, all his majesty, he chose to come to the earth as a baby. He chose to do that just because he loves us. He was born as a baby, went through childhood, he went through his teenage years and he grew up to be a man, still holy still divine, still sinless. And we know that he died a cruel death on the cross. He was crucified, but he rose again three days later. 
Why? For our sins. Because he loves us. Because he wants a relationship with us. And he wants us to have a relationship with the Father. Those of you who have accepted him, I want to encourage you today to continue to follow him. Life might be tough, but please don't give up. He's coming soon. We will be with him for eternity. Don't give up. And for those of you who haven't received him, then you can. It's not too late. Come to him. He will accept you just the way you are. Come and make the most important decision of your life and repent and follow him. Because he loves you too. Let your roots go down in him. Your roots go down in his word. He is strong, Yeshua is strong, he is secure. Lots of things in life might feel like they're just crumbling away, but he will not. He is your strength and he is your security. Let your lives be built on him. Not on temporary things that are here today and gone tomorrow, that wither away and disappear, but on Yeshua, who is forever and who is eternal. When your roots, the Bible says, are in Yeshua and your life is built on him, then your faith will grow strong in the truth you were taught. The truth you were taught. Hold on to the truth that you were taught. Read the Bible. Spend time with Yahweh in Yeshua and the Holy Spirit. Don't forget the truth that you have been taught. Some of you watching this may have been taught about Yahweh or God many, many years ago. Maybe your grandmother or your granddad or your mum, your dad taught you. Maybe you went to Sunday school or Bible school or youth rallies or summer camps. Maybe it's been a long time since you thought about the truth of the Bible that you were taught. Then I want to encourage you today. It's time to remember the truth that you were taught. Then the verse goes on to say, you will overflow with thankfulness. When we think about Yeshua, what he's done for, for us, how can we not be thankful? We've Thankfulness should just overflow from us when we think of everything that he's done for us simply because he loves us. Be rooted in Yeshua. And I just want to finish and leave a clip for you. And these trees are standing rooted and secure. And I want to encourage you today, be like these trees, tall, rooted and secure even when the difficult circumstances of life blow all around you.